I've got data that suggests Bitcoin getting ready to make a big move on the short term charts by the end of this weekend. So buckle up. What is up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit that like and subscribe on the way in. Let's jump into this Bitcoin video. This is the short. This is actually a really exciting short term chart. I'm, I'm happy we're here. It's played out. We're getting ready, I think, for a break. And I want to talk about this chart. So it'll be on the timestamps if you want to get right into it. But I want to start with this, a reminder that the tides have turned in terms of Bitcoin. Never stop focusing your perspective uh, outside of the macro charts. And here's a Fibonacci retracement from the bull market high to the bear market low. Okay. First swing high failed. Okay. From that swing high that failed last summer to our March swing low, this is what's important just to keep remembering. We broke the Fibonacci retracement. We broke, and at that time, we broke out of this long term triangle that you see on the screen. You have to keep that in mind. And you also have to keep this entire area in mind for the potential of a drastic fall for Bitcoin. I'm not so sure that's going to happen because there's so much bullishness. There are so many buyers, I think, at prices higher than this area. But technically, you must be prepared for that type of scenario. Again, I don't think that's going to happen. But remember, either way, the tides have changed and we are now in an uptrend. We have now entered the bull market. So be ready for volatility, but be reminded that on the long term charts, Bitcoin is so bullish. Going over to the same chart, but on the daily, I just want to kind of put something into perspective for you. We've been in this uptrend of higher highs and higher lows really since we broke this symmetrical triangle, this long term symmetrical triangle. And it's been very similar to what happened, uh, you know, last the spring of 2019 into the summer of 2019. If you look at it on a chart, it just looks like a crazy rising channel, right? Zoomed out on the daily chart. But we can start digging into it and start getting some clues into what Bitcoin might do next. And the one difference, no matter what happens next that I'm anticipating for Bitcoin, when Bitcoin broke through the bottom of this and started trending down, that's because Bitcoin wasn't in a bull market yet. If Bitcoin breaks below this and starts trending down, I do not think it will be any anywhere near as volatile uh, as it was then. I think it would be more of just sideways consolidation before continuation. So that's something else to keep in mind, because if we look at that chart now on the six hour, this is what it looks like stretched out. And so I think there's a very good scenario where Bitcoin could actually break down right to the downside. And we're in the 15,000s. We're 19,000 now. And I know that sounds drastic, but I anticipate these scenarios so that I can accumulate Bitcoin even in uptrends. And this would not be that bad of a move at all. And I just want to throw it out there so that you know and so that you're prepared for it. Bitcoin coming down to this area and consolidating into some new pattern before continuation could be extremely bullish, but we're not there yet. And on this short term chart, a scenario for Bitcoin from where it's at. Actually, this is kind of more midterm. We're right around $19,000. What, what we can do is we can take our Fibonacci retracement from the swing low of that bottom trend line to our most previous swing high. Didn't quite get to that upper trend line. And we have a Fibonacci retracement, I would say in the short term, down to 17600 to 17000 right? From a price perspective, it's really not that big of a deal, everyone. We're talking about 8% to that bottom trend line, to that 786, like 11%. We know that can happen literally in minutes. And you have to be prepared for that scenario. And I wanted to just, do, just to talk about the short-term, mid-term potential downside, what we're looking for for that first big move. If it happens, that's what it looks like. Altcoins probably would suffer a little bit more than Bitcoin. Now let's pivot over. It's four minutes into the video. Let's pivot, let's pivot over to some bullish scenarios. Okay. And I want to start with this video, a clip yesterday. And we have our Fibonacci support area now down here, right? Which is right around 18,800 down to around 18,600, a very, very small range just below where Bitcoin is, is hovering right now. What's going to happen in the short term? This is a, so that's what we were tracking yesterday and it played out almost perfectly. Look at this, everybody. This is the Fibonacci retracement I talked about right here. Uh, in the video yesterday, and we dipped right into it actually below it in the six hour candle, you can see here, and we saw support, we saw a bounce, 
Bitcoin bounced off of it. It's what we wanted to see to, to really keep these bulls alive, right? And that's what's happening. And we're getting some crazy consolidation that's really kind of, it's just fun to track uh, from a technical analysis perspective. The story has been, we had this swing high from December 1st, right? And we can track it down to the swing low. We hit off this Fibonacci retracement resistance area. We came down. And in yesterday's video, that's the move we were talking about, the swing low to the swing high, coming down and testing this Fibonacci retracement area right here. Will it hold support or is the bear move coming? It held support. And now we here, now here we are like 24 hours later doing another video. And the consolidation, Bitcoin once again, like a ping pong ball going back and forth, getting squeezed. Now from that swing high to this swing low, you can have another Fibonacci retracement, which if you zoom in here, Bitcoin just hovering around that 618. Bitcoin is getting squeezed. Now what's exciting about this is the inverse head and shoulders we talked about, or we've been talking about, right? Left shoulder over here, head, right shoulder setting up potentially. What's exciting is as this right shoulder, we're waiting for a setup happens, we are now in the symmetrical triangle, this new very short-term symmetrical triangle from like you know five days ago. And we're 63% to the apex of the triangle. Historically, based on Bolkowski uh, and his trading, his trading data, 74% has, has just worked really well. Even in the last couple of months, you can probably find multiple videos of me tracking symmetrical triangles for Bitcoin. And we're getting that break right around here, maybe a little before, maybe a little after. So what we're going to look for truly is kind of the, the potential for the confirmation of this inverse head and shoulders. So this is the bullish move right here. Boom. The shoulder forms as Bitcoin breaks out right around 74% to the symmetrical triangle apex. And we get a very similar move to the completion of the left shoulder. Look at this. If you measure this, this move that came out of nowhere for Bitcoin, that's actually not the that's not the price range. Let me get the price range. If we measure this move, we're looking at right around it was like a five percent move for Bitcoin. For Bitcoin now to reach this this neckline to form the right shoulder, we're looking at a very similar move. Seven percent to the upside can happen very quickly. That is something that we're anticipating from a bullish perspective. If this triangle plays out and we get a breakout out of the upper trend line of the triangle. The target of that is really right around $21,000. That would complete the inverse head and shoulders. Bitcoin would be breaking $20,000 in the process, making a lot of headlines. So that's really the bullish scenario. It's it's right around the corner potentially, but do the bulls have that, that, that drive, right? And that's why we're tracking this. That's why we track these short-term Fibonacci support areas, resistance areas, and we see how does it interact. So far, Bitcoin has bounced around perfectly. Most recently, the support right at the lower trend line of the symmetrical triangle. And we're going to continue to track it now over the next 24 hours. This 74% to the apex is tomorrow, December 6th. So uh, we have to keep tracking this. We will keep tracking it, but this is a breakout target, 21,000, the completion of the inverse head and shoulders. It's extremely exciting to track this, but keep in mind, if you look at this chart, we also have a breakdown potential right around the $17,000 target out of the symmetrical triangle. And you know, we just talked about that area uh, on this you know, midterm chart right down here. This is the 17,000 midterm um, Fibonacci support area from the swing low here to the swing high back down. So targets are in place, everybody. Just be ready. This is just data. Anticipate every scenario, wait for confirmations, and we'll, we'll eventually have the story told for us on the charts. Hit that subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hit that like button. It truly means a lot to me. Everybody, go download Block Gains in the iOS App Store, Google Play, newly launched app. Track your uh, portfolio and also strategize and plan your crypto exits. I'll see you all in the next video. Have an awesome day. God bless.